In this lesson, I want to talk about some very basic typing techniques. Very, very important. And for some of you, you already know how to type, but this will update your skills to word processing versus what we might have learned from a teacher who started out on a typewriter. So let's go into Word and let's look at the two most important things when you're typing. Let me turn on my show hide so we can see. When you finish a paragraph, there's the paragraph marker. You hit the Enter key on your keyboard to go to the next line when you finish a paragraph. Now look at this one. This paragraph is two plus lines long. And at the end, once the paragraph was finished, the Enter key was utilized. Here's the reason. When I highlight, I'm just pointing to those lines and dragging. When that font is highlighted and I go up here and use the increase font size, watch what happens. The words automatically wrap appropriately and stay within the paragraph no matter how large or how small the font is. Had I put an enter at the end of every single line, everything would have been a complete and total disaster. So don't use your enter key until you're finished with the paragraph. Just keep typing, just keep typing, just keep typing and let word wrap do its thing. Here's the second big tip. Let me turn this show hide off right here between sentences, one space. Any sentence gets one space between sentences. And many of us were taught two spaces at the end of a sentence. And that's because with a typewriter, we needed it to make it more visually appealing. But with a computer, the computer knows exactly how much space for every character to take up and it automatically adjusts appropriately. So as you can see here, the W on Word is the same amount of space as the CO on Coincidental because it understands how much space to take up. But let me show you what used to be. Control N as in new will take us into a new Word document. And then I want to make my font gigantic so this makes sense to you. A capital W and a little tiny I. Both of those on a typewriter took up the exact same amount of space because typewriters were monospaced. You could have 10 characters per inch or 12 characters per inch. And so there was no other choice than to make every character take up the same amount of space. And that's why visually appealing two spaces at the end of the sentence. But now it's just old fashioned and outdated. So get in the habit, one space between sentences. Okay, so let's just double check this. When you're typing, the quick, whoops, it's a red fox. The quick red fox jumped over the lazy brown dog. Now that sentence has every character in the alphabet in it. So if you wanna type everything, practice everything, that's the, that's the sentence. This is a test, period. Now I'm at the end of my paragraph, so I hit my enter key. Oops, I made a mistake there. That should say this. This is a test. There we go. So now what I've done is I have demonstrated what I talked about. Turn on the show hide at the end of the sentence, one space. And when I was ready to finish my paragraph, I hit the enter key on my keyboard. I know they're very simple tips, but they are definitely necessary to make sure that you're proper, properly creating Word documents. And let me show you one more quick thing. Control N gets me a new document and I could work my tail off to get where I want to start. By default, I'm in the top left hand corner. No, no, I want to type approximately here. Just double click. And when you double click, look what happens. I'll turn back on the show hide. It said, okay, empty paragraphs and a tab and start here. And then when I hit enter, it goes back to the left side. So that's just another quick trip it, trick if you want to get started quickly inside of a document. And my last tip for typing is if you're in doubt of what font to use, go with the default. Thousands of people were surveyed by Microsoft and they said that Calibri is one of the easiest fonts to read. So if you're not sure what to go with, stick with Calibri because they won't steer you wrong. So one space between sentences, type until you get to the end of the paragraph, then hit your enter key. On a brand new document, you can double click to start wherever you want to. And Calibri is a really great font to use because people like it.